Uh, sure, we're in uh, Middleburg, Virginia on the Bainham Foundation Farm, which is a farm that my wife and I manage for the Bainham Family Foundation, um, located on some beautiful gravel roads here in Middleburg, Virginia. And uh, why did I want to do this ride? Um, well, I'm an avid cyclist and I had a full race schedule this year until uh, COVID derailed everybody's plans. And while out uh, doing a, a long ride, I decided to uh, challenge myself and hearkening back to some hikes I used to do as self 24 hour self challenges, I said, how much could I do in 24 hours? And I remembered speaking to my friends, uh, Doug and Danielle, that Loudoun County had approximately 250 miles of gravel roads. And I said, oh, maybe I could get those 250 miles in a single ride. Um, and then I decided that rather than just doing that ride uh, for my own sake, which is something in itself, I wanted to uh, see what we could do for America's Roots raise awareness for that organization which is working to preserve these roads. Well, the amazing thing about uh, cycling on these roads in this area, uh, you know, roads are a community. They bring communities together. Um, in 2020 and beyond, uh, the cycling community really pulled together around these roads. Um, so as far as food and water, there's a lot of people that plan on riding with me, and they've, they've asked what they can bring along. So we're working and coordinating with them that they'll bring spare bottles. Um, there'll be general stores, historic general stores on the route that I'll stop and, and purchase Coca-Colas and spare water and ham sandwiches, although I am a vegetarian so I don't know if I'll eat the ham, but there's options. Um, so it's the community that's really helping me to fuel along the way. bike I'm using specifically is a bike called the Salsa Cutthroat, which was, uh, people can argue whether it's a gravel bike or a mountain bike, but it was designed as a mountain, drop bar mountain bike. It was designed for long distance uh, mountain bike races. Um, so it's the perfect bike for this kind of trip. Um, I have good experience with that. My wife and I used, uh, I used the Cutthroat overseas for a month. We did a thousand miles around the uh, island of Sri Lanka and it didn't fail me. It was comfortable. Uh, dependable, light, it's, it's an incredible bike. So I'll be using that again. Um, and the equipment I'll be bringing with me, um, again, there's a community around around us, so I won't be bringing a terrible amount, um, but I will be carrying uh, a spare battery pack for my phone so that I, if I need to take pictures or for emergencies, I can contact someone and still have battery power. Um, I'll also have a battery pack that will charge that phone and my, uh, my navigation. Uh, computer which you know in order to link all these roads in the most efficient way I needed to map it out beforehand so I depend on that computer work so I'll need to recharge so we'll have a battery pack for that um, but other than that lights batteries and then clothing is going to be a big deal you know with different conditions so I'll, I'll carry a frame bag and uh, that'll allow me to strip off coats or uh, take coats out gloves things like that so. I, I believe the, the bulk of the roads that we are riding uh, today are safe. Um, you know, inevitably you're going to lose some to develop, but I think the, the bulk of them are safe. Um, there's easements along a lot of them. Uh, they go through some large estates, so those ones will be the easier ones to save. Um, but I think if we get the, the story out there about these roads, which uh, America's Roots has, has been working towards, that people will want to save them. Just for their inherent value. Um, they harken back to the 1700s. Uh, they're gorgeous. Um, 
even if you're coming out from the city and just want to do a country a ride through the country, they're great roads to ride through. So I think uh, the, the biggest thing we can do is, is uh, bring uh, an awareness to it. Um, they've done some incredible films that have uh, won awards just for their cinematography, um, but the message is there, and, and, and people seeing these roads are bringing out. Uh, people seeing these roads on the videos are, are bringing people out, especially in the cycling community. Um, Loudoun County also has a lot of uh, farm breweries that people are coming out and driving these gravel roads to get between them for. And, I mean, there's a lot here to offer. Um, equestrians are out here, hunt clubs, which are uh, fun to see. Yeah, it's got it all. Okay, guys, don't be safe. Have fun. Okay. Take care of it. I think uh, you refer to as a cycling community, and I think community is the, the word that we need to uh, focus in on. Um, my wife and I moved here from another state, and the first thing I did to find people to, to get to know people was I reached out to fellow cyclists and, and very, was very quickly brought into the fold. Um, the Velo Pigs are down here, and, and they're bringing more people into the fold, and, and we do gravel rides. And, and as we bring more people and they see how amazing these roads are to ride, um, People are moving away from asphalt roads to ride it because they're just not safe, so they want to move to a safe place. And then they find out how beautiful the roads are as well, and they, they keep coming back. Um, so the cyclists know um, how important these roads are for their own interests, but also for the community's interests. So the cyclists want to help preserve those so that they have them to ride on, not only for their uh, beauty, but for safety for cyclists. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> 300? So how is how is the Pearl Izumi uh, clothing? Oh, this is incredible. I wore this uh, from about maybe 10.30 at night last night. Kept warm. You know, I'd open it up to thermal regulate, but uh, pretty waterproof. Pants, same way, very comfortable. Uh, temperature's dipping into low 40s, but I was comfortable the whole way. Awesome. Salsa bike did good? Salsa bike. It's an incredible bike to cut through. Yeah. Okay. How many total miles? 284. And feet of climbing? I'm going to have to look, but I think it's 24,000. Okay. And about how many hours total in the saddle? Uh, in the saddle, 23, hour, 23 hours, 21 minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Casey, so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.